everyone. Thank you very much. Hey, just out of interest, any baby boomers in tonight? No? Good, let's talk about them. When are they going to die? When the fuck are they going to die? They are hanging around like a John Farnham farewell tour. When the fuck are they going to wrap it up, shuffle off this mortal coil and give me a house? <laughs> I've been researching you baby boomers. Here are some facts you might not know. When baby boomers die, they get buried in a coffin, also have an investment coffin buried at the same time so they can negatively gear in death. It's a wonderful system. The natural habitat is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom terrace house they bought in Brunswick for a shilling and a song! <laughs> and the natural predators are skin cancer and their children. We're coming for you, boomers. <laughs> oh, we're coming for you, my friends. I've been trying to buy a house over the past year, friends. Can't do it. The only way I can enter the property market is if my parents exit life. That's the only way. And no fancy funeral. They're getting cremated at La Paqueta, OK? That's how it's going down. <laughs> My parents told me they want to buy a caravan recently. Oh, you fucking love a caravan, don't you, boomers? Boomers look at all the houses there and they go, gosh, just not enough houses here. Is there a way my car could be a house? <laughs> just driving around. Hey, millennials, check it out. Beep, beep, pretty cool. I'm living in my car like you, but different. <laughs> when are they going to die? <laughs> not even comedy anymore. Real anger. Real anger. <laughs> Love the feedback on my generation from Boomers too. Keep that coming, guys. That's great. Oh, yeah, you millennials, you're all sensitive snowflakes, aren't you? Yeah, everyone in your generation gets a participation trophy, don't they? Yes, we do, Boomers. We do, and we fucking love them. We love those trophies. We hold them at night as we curl up in our childhood bedrooms, which are also our bedrooms, and we hold them, and we love those trophies. When we got those trophies, when we got something free just for showing up, we got to feel what it's like to be a baby Boomer. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Your participation trophy is called the ability to retire! <laughs> Just a little less attitude, Boomer. Just a little less attitude coming from the people who need to be shown five times how to use Apple TV. OK, is that all right? <laughs> yeah, you millennials are idiots. Now, do I press the source button? Is Stan on Netflix, Tom? Is Stan on Netflix? <laughs> does the TV need to be on? Of course it does! <laughs> Come on, mate, you went to uni for free. You figure it out. Oh, thanks for climate change too, boomers, by the way. Brilliant. You've left us a fucked economy in a dying planet. Awesome. Great. We're going for a post-apocalyptic water world scenario. I'm not going to be able to afford a boat. <laughs> 2050, the world's flooded. It's me and a bunch of other 60-year-olds living in a share dinghy. <laughs> You'll be dead by then, won't you, boomers? Time that very well. Climate change sticks in. You're like, all right, see you, bitch. Bye. <laughs> you go up to the great big caravan in the sky. I'm down here working 15-hour shifts for Uber Swim to save up a deposit for a fucking car. Have a lovely festival, everybody. Good night.